Yes, sir. Now, bring the sports car around. I'm getting tired of this house. Yes, sir. Going out on the town, sir? No. I'm going to hang around Lambie West for a couple of hours. Because this is New York City, why do we have to come back here for a nightcap? Gotham lives till dawn. I heard from some of the other guests that this pianist is really very special. Besides, at this hour, are we not safer back at our hotel? Spoken like a true small town matron. Don't you ever use the word matron about me again. Just teasing. Oh, I hope so. Though, matron being a derivative word of based on mother, I think, at any rate, or maternal. What? I miss Cassie. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I, wish, I wish we'd just sort of jumped on a plane and gone to Paris. I know, I know. It gets harder and harder every week, doesn't it? Yes. You suppose she'll start missing us and decide to come home earlier? <laughs> I wouldn't count on it, honey. Nor would I. I. I don't know what it is about children. Why do they have to grow up at all? Hi, Nelson. Yes? Um, the desk clerk said he saw you come in here. I was about to take this up to your room. Oh. Darling, would you give the young man something? Who's this from? Uh, Mr. David Rinaldi. See? Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Wonder what it could be. Probably a lock of his hair. Ugh. <laughs> well, we'll take a look. Look at this, for heaven's sake. That's one of his compositions. But look at the title. I promise you one thing, no more operas unless they're indoors. And as far as picnics are concerned, forget it. This never happens to me, though. I mean, really, not like this, anyway. You're wearing perfume. Yeah, I am. It's uh, French. It must translate into essence of mosquito. But we know you stop it. <laughs> You're only going to make it worse. I, it's very easy for you to say. Don't you have something in the house that'll relieve the itching? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Actually, I think all these mosquitoes were just punishment for me. And why would you be punished? For listening to you and not doing my work? <laughs> I'll tell you the real truth. The only real punishment would have been to stay and listen to that atrocious contralto. Sure, it was pretty awful, wasn't you? <laughs> well, why don't you do this? You can probably see the bites better than I can. Relax. <laughs> You're all red. <laughs> You're not kind of envy those little fellas. Getting up on your neck, nibbling <laughs> away. Oh, there's a spot they forgot. There's another one. Am I gonna have to swat you too? You'd probably love it. <laughs> you know, I'll bet you were the one who set me up, instead of the other way around. How do you figure that? Well, I bet you got all those little mosquitoes together to bite you. <laughs> so you'd itch, and you'd have a reason to get rid of me tonight. I don't need a reason to get rid of you tonight. I'm quite capable of showing you to the door, all by myself. Just put this stuff on, will you? Sorry. <clears throat> I never thought of you as a cautious woman. I'm not cautious. You're just fast. I hate to waste time. Now, come on, why don't you admit it? You and I are going to go to bed together one night. Why put it off for the sake of propriety? <laughs> Listen to me. It's not propriety, it's safety. I don't know you. You're just a big mystery. For all I know, you've got a wife and 20 kids somewhere. Yeah, and I've also got a harem in Arizona. And so it's very difficult for me to understand which one you're talking about. That's very reassuring. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't forget, you consented to have dinner with me tomorrow night. <laughs> You're not going to pull that on me. But you will, won't you? Probably. If Clint and I get done, all the work tomorrow we're supposed to do tonight. Yeah, so you just make sure that you do. Hmm. And before I go on too long, I'm leaving, before you throw me out.
Unless, of course, you want me to stay. I want you to go. Wait a minute. In case any of those little fellows come back tonight and bite you, you need somebody to scratch them. Yeah, those good night. <laughs> Put her right there, partner. <laughs> yeah, look like you guys have made a deal. You bet we have, and I'll tell you what, it's time to celebrate. We need a big bottle of your best champagne, all right? You still got to iron out a few details with my agent. No problem. Can I use your phone back here yes. again yes, one more time? Yes, of course you can. Thank you. Come on, Ham. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, may I have a bottle of the good stuff, please? And may I trouble you also for three glasses? Good, oh, okay. Hey there, okay. lady. Uh, it was a psychic, hello, a psychic kind of thing that you knew that we were coming here the champagne already for us. Oh, really? What kind of celebration you're doing? Our marriage. Yeah. Marriage? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You got married? No, no, no not, yet. not yet. Not yet. Soon. Soon. Look. Well, Becky Lee can tell you all about it. I pulled the late shift to the hospital, so I gotta run. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Wanda. Goodbye, Wanda. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm speechless, or I would say goodbye, Wanda. Goodbye. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See you mm -hmm. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sit down. Sit down over there. What is going on here? You have this whole secret life. What is this? Excuse me, but I what? think we have a problem at table seven. Yes. Uh, you sit, stay right there. Do not move. Can I have a plate soda, please? Just the pretty thing I was looking for. Nineteen eighty-three, and every Emmy Award for Outstanding Performance goes to ABC. Best Supporting Actress, Louise Schaefer on Ryan's Hope. Best Supporting Actor, Darnell Williams on All My Children. Best Actress, Dorothy Lyman on All My Children. And Best Actor, Robert S. Woods on One Life to Live. And here's this week's winning story from All My Children, Erica's Revenge. You want to bring Lars Bogart to his knees as much as I do. It would be a pleasure to see him crawl. You're a winner when you watch our winners every weekday on ABC. The Dorian interludes. <laughs> Wait, he's gone and dedicated a piece of music to me. He's dedicated to winning himself back into your favor. That's what he probably found an old piece of music in his garret and put this title on. Oh, stop. Yeah. There's a note here. I can hardly wait. Hmm. Mrs. Callison, this is the first movement of a major new work on composing. I hope to complete it in Pennsylvania and premiere it with the Landview Philharmonic. David Renault. I wonder if the pianist would play this for me. Oh, no, I, I don't want to impose on him. Why would it be an imposition? Well, I mean, I mean, I mean it's something he's never seen before. I'm embarrassed. Dear, and that's all. how will we know unless you ask him? Well, you ask. You'll have to do it just on the basis of your smile alone. All right, I will. I, 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 it's taken care of. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, excuse me, may I introduce myself? My oh. name is Dorian Lord Callison. Oscar Wister. Nice oh. to meet you. Thank you, thank you. Have, uh, you have music there. Yes, indeed I do. In fact, uh, this was... Uh, this is a composition that was written for me, and I've never heard it. Mm -hmm. I wonder, would it be too much to ask? No, I'm delighted to. Let me see. I think I can handle this. Let's see. Yeah. Wonderful. 